Hey, what's good, people, man? Welcome to another episode of No Silicone. Yeah, keeping it raw. And keeping it real with your boy, Feeling Hendrix. And ATJ Fitness. Um, First and foremost, before I actually get into the episode, um, I'm not sure if everyone's heard probably by this by the time this comes out. Oh, yeah. Um, The legend Kobe Bryant's passed away today. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, passed away in a helicopter accident. Fucking random. It's crazy. Man. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, Kobe passed, man. It's a like, couple hours ago now. Literally, <clears throat> not even up to an hour ago now. Yeah, you know I mean, so rest in peace, Kobe, man. Oh. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Huge legend, legend, legend. 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 I'm playing know. basketball for over 20 years, you know what I mean? So Kobe, my boy J.Y. as well, so tight. Mm. You know what I mean? So R.I.P., man. You know what I mean? So on a lighter note now, today we're joined by two beautiful guests. You know what I mean? Two beautiful ladies by the name of Miss Yezzy Yezzer. Hey everyone. Hello. And Ms. Jen 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 from the block. What's cracking? Hello. Jen Jen Jen. From the block, from the block, from the block. <coughs> no silicone episode three, man. We decided to bring in um some guests, yeah. I mean to add a little spice yep. um to the series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, because I know y'all are probably tired of hearing our amazing opinions and voices. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so we thought we'd just um add a little a little some some a little salt bait to this stuff. Yeah, spice, I mean spice. you can only get better with these two here. Yeah, I mean so um let's start with you, Miss Yes Yezer. Do you mind introducing yourself? Who are you? Um I'm Yezzy. Yezzy Yezer. I am a rapper mm-hmm. and I am a business owner, mm-hmm. security business owner. All right. You can check my stuff out. I have a new single out now okay. called Double Double. So stream yes, that. Sir. Double mm. double. Double double. All right, cool. I like that. Um Jen. <laughs> J- 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 <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Um Jen, do you mind introducing yourself, please? I am Jenny. Uh, Hi, Jenny. I have a jewelry polishing business. Balling. And yeah, I'm just here to talk. Ladies, um, you introduce yourselves as independent women, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, both kind of business owners, self-made. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing your own thing, which um, which I find very interesting. Me personally, I find that being an attractive feature for women to have. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about strong ladies, quote unquote? Wait, do you consider yourself strong, independent woman? No. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes. No. no. I just feel like the connotations that independent independence has is like leave me alone right i do not want to be left alone if you want to take care of me i will take it <laughs> mm. so i don't i don't really like using that word only because of okay. how society has made it like oh okay. you're like over a certain age you're lonely right you've got your cats no i'm a woman mm. if you want to make me feel like a woman um, i will take that wholeheartedly interesting so i'm just a woman that i get my bag as well that's it all right interesting so, yeah. jenny you, you had the you had the adverse round of applause, man. <laughs> round of applause man. i ain't clapping for that <laughs> You was the one attracted to it. Now you know. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Let, let me hear. Let me hear your your opinion mm-hmm. on being termed an in the strong independent woman. Does it does have the same negative connotations? I would, I would totally agree with what Yezzy's saying. It is such. There are so many buzzwords. They're so loaded yeah. that they mean so many different things right, to so right. many different people. Mm. So yeah, when you say to some people, "Yeah, I'm an independent woman," it just you know it yeah. puts fences up immediately. Mm-hmm. It closes mm-hmm. doors. It's like mm-hmm. okay, well, you're then put in sort of that box. But A box. To me, sort of. Being an independent woman, I guess you can be an independent guy as well. But it's mm. you know it, it's the woman who sort of mm. men are just presumed to be independent. Right. And yeah. Independent woman is someone who sort of doesn't really depend on a man right. per se for mm-hmm. her happiness or mm. sustenance or survival. Bingo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Bingo. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that yeah. I don't want one. I mm. don't need right. what mm. a man can give me. Exactly. But right. It just means that I I'm capable of going out there and mm. kind mm. of you know doing what own. I can do myself. I yeah. don't need to rely on somebody else, man or woman. Okay, Jay. How do you, how Does do you independence feel? always go as financially though? Like in no, regards I, to I don't think so. I think um. <clears throat> Independence just means basically like what Jen said. Yeah, I mean, I got my own, not just financially. Well, what's your own like? What's I, that? I guess let's throw that at them. At them, then, like, what, what? When you say your own, what is your own? I know you mentioned the bag, and we know connotations. The bag means money, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. What else would you say is your own? Yeah. My I mean? my time. Like okay. I feel like I have a lot of girlfriends. No, I won't put them on blast. I don't have lots of girlfriends, but, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I think the main thing that makes you 
end up in the wrong relationship is when you don't enjoy your own company. I enjoy right. my own company. Like, mm. I will watch Game of Thrones and be like, listen, I will call at you <laughs> after I finished yeah, it. Yeah, EastEnders, yeah. you, whatever. Yeah. Or I'll just go out and say, you know, I want to go to the museum. My favorite museum is the VNA Museum. I just mm. like going there, clearing my head. Mm. I don't have to go with someone. Mm. If someone wants to come with me, great. Why not? Yeah. But I'm yeah. not bound to my house because mm. I don't have someone. And I think my brother's an inspiration for me because mm. he's not in a relationship. He just went to New York. Right. And I was like, you went to New York by yourself? He's like, yeah. yeah like so None of my friends could afford it. Mm. I don't have a girlfriend, but I'm not just going to sit in my house and not see the world. And I was like, mm. I respect that. Because yeah. a lot of people wouldn't do a lot of things mm. because, oh, this is seen to be more of a couple thing. Like, yeah. oh, I'm not going to go to Winter Wonderland with my friend or whatever. Mm. And it's like, mm. if you want to go Winter Wonderland, That's interesting. Winter interesting. Wonderland. That's interesting. You mentioned this concept about um, having your own time and doing your own thing yeah. solo. Now, I mean, and Jen, I know this is one big thing for you. Yeah, yeah I mean, considering where we met, right? Yeah, we met at yeah, Battle Rap yeah, event. Yeah. And till today, I'm still shocked that you were there by yourself. Yeah. As you know, Battle yeah. Rap is a very masculine yeah. thing. A lot of people go as groups, but you went there by yourself. And that's yeah, not the first myself. thing that you do by yourself. Like this whole solo, my time, my thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, flying that whole, you know, that flag, strong and proud. Like, tell us a little bit about that. What's your motivation behind it? You know what I mean? Well, the the battle rap event was um not just a battle just, rap but yeah se. but i'm just saying from yeah. that that yeah things like that yeah. are because i don't have you know i don't have my current circle that's not their interest right, and right. it's either i'm going to go by myself or, you're not gonna or go. i'm not going to go mm -hmm. it's, it's you know things something that i want to do mm. why should i enjoy my company mm. why am i not mm. going to enjoy my company outside of the house right right and right. also I'm, I'm quite a social person yeah. i can just because i go by myself it doesn't mean i'm going to spend the whole time i'm there by myself i'm right. going to talk to people You'll meet other people 100%. and i'm far more likely to yeah if um yeah if i'm you if i'm forced to sort sure, of interact sure, sure. with people so it's literally coming out of your comfort zone and just doing your own, that, your own yeah thing. exactly and just yeah. doing things to please you and mm. not so much please other people, other people. what yeah. interests you you don't have anyone who share those interests well go and find them because yeah. that's where they are yeah. You're, you're not going to find them sitting in your house. So is independence more along the lines of you're confident in just being who you are? 100. And being that yeah. around anybody, basically. Yeah. 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 And oh, okay. all those sort of needs, <clears throat> just mm. fulfilling them yourself, whether mm. it's financial, whether it's mm. emotional, where, mm. you know, whatever it is, just your general well-being, mm. you know, looking after yourself, you, mm. you can do it for yourself. Yeah. You don't yeah. mm. have to rely on whether it's parents or partners or mm. whatever. No, I read that and I respect that. I think across the board, not just women, even like guys themselves, like people doing their own thing as opposed to waiting for the friends to jump on like the holiday thing. How yeah. many holidays or how many events people don't mm. actually attend because the friends were taking too long mm. yeah. or because no one had the money mm. and stuff like that. But I rate that, especially on the, um, I guess on the female aspect of things. Yeah, I mean, but um, it's interesting because you mentioned something which I was really surprised about. Like, don't call me an independent woman because of the connotations that it comes with. Yeah. And then you're kind of flipping it and you're saying the same thing, but you're like, no, there are positive connotations around yeah. it. This is the definition of it. Mm. But then there is a stigma. Yeah. There is definitely yeah. a stigma around that. You feel what I'm saying? So like, has that been your experience in general yeah. when it comes to dudes and like, stuff or people? Yeah, just growing up, I'd never liked guys going, oh yeah, black independent woman. I'm mm. like, chill, 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 chill. I'm just, just a woman. I'm just a woman. <laughs> like, I don't want that whole black. I don't want that whole independent limp. Yeah. I'm just getting mine. Yeah, like whenever yeah, yeah. a guy's so very true. highly motivated, mm. you just go, oh, he's a very successful individual. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then when it's woman, it's like, oh, look at her. She's, she's black yeah. and she's doing it. It's like, yeah. Tradition, why does it have it? to be like that? And mm. I get it's always going to happen, but I don't feel like I should be the one to keep perpetuating sure. that and put it online. Sure. So, yeah. That's really in general. What, what's your thoughts on that? And I think with yes, yeah, because you work in a male-dominated industry, yeah. Yeah. security, you, as we said, yeah, yeah. It, you almost have to hide. So on one side, you have to really sort of uh, have all those sort of masculine traits that having a job and being, you know, yeah. an owner in that role, mm. you, you have to sort of overplay those to yeah. an extent, but. Then you've also, it's like, I'm a woman. Why should I have to put on this man hat mm. to be in this man world and then mm. have everyone sort of look at me like I'm, yeah, I'm a woman in a man's world? Yeah. It's sort of quite a confusing it is. set of circumstances. So to be doing what you're doing and mm. having the sort of label of independence on you, it's yeah. like, okay, yeah. She, it's just too much. It's yeah. too much. And yeah. sometimes it's an asset to be 
the the one of few in this situation like yeah. if you're working in a company you're the only person of color whatever mm. you might get a few more opportunities to do certain things mm. but then sometimes it can be a setback and people question why you're in the room yeah mm. and i never want to have that yeah. but i know that's going to come yeah mm. and it's not until like maybe another 20 years where like a lot more women are in the industry or whatever mm. maybe it'll be a norm you know but, yeah that, that's interesting do you notice it then like do you feel like I'm the only one woman in the room. The reason I'm asking that mm -hmm. is because so um, in the places that I've worked, right, it's very uh, male orientated as well. Mm -hmm. Now the organization might have like 50 people, mm -hmm. and it might be like three women. And I started thinking, right, because I asked these ladies. It's in the technology space, right, and I asked them, does it feel weird being the only woman here or being? And they were like, oh, I've never noticed. Yeah. I said, wait, what? And I said, how long have you worked here? I said, I've, I've been in this space for like um, 12 years, six years, seven years, eight mm -hmm. years. And I'm like. How, like for me, it was more like, oh, you've done so well being the only woman in this competitive. To them, they don't even notice it. They're yeah. just like, I'm just here. I'm just a woman. I just work. Mm. Yeah. And I'm good at what I do. Yeah, so good. no one can tell me nothing. So for you guys, when you're when you're in these spaces, do you feel like I am the only woman here? Is it very, is it like a spotlight on you? No. No, you're just there, just doing your job. I'm just there. Like the only mm. time I notice I'm a woman is when someone goes, hey, what are you doing here? Yeah. A girl like you, what are you doing here? Yeah. Something like that. I'm just working and thankfully the guys I've worked with, majority of them is like, hey sis, you good sis? Yeah, I just yeah. feel like I'm with family. Yeah, one of the team. No one's ever made, I mean, there was one comment I had, mm. I'll never forget that. And that was kind of like when I was kind of making my way up in a certain football stadium, I won't say that so I don't jeopardize a bag one day. Um, and the guy was like, oh, you know why they've made you the leader here, right? You ain't no he was like, you ain't nothing but Caesar. And I was what does like, that mean? Like from, the from monkey, Planet of the Apes, bruh. He was like, "You ain't nothing but Caesar." Caesar he was, was mad well. smart, though. I ain't gonna front. Yeah, yeah. Swear yeah. Uh, it it could have been well. bubbles. It could have been bubbles, bro. <laughs> 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 it could have been bubbles, but Caesar. It could have been King Kong, but it was Caesar, bro. Yeah. He was like, "You ain't nothing but Caesar," and I was like. Wow. Okay. That's wild. It took me back. It took me back because then it made me question. Oh, did they really make me the leader of like hundred plus guys? Yeah. Because because I'm good, or well, I'm just the intelligent woman. one that they'll look up to and listen to, yeah. mm. and kind of control them from mm. getting to massa in the house mm. or something like that. Yeah. Mm. And it kind of made me, it got me feeling the type of way. But mm. that's the only comment, and especially when it was from someone like yourself, right? You feel like it's more it's true. It's always like that yeah. as well, man. Is it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. It's yeah. always from your own, isn't you it? You think so? Because mm. he wants to be in your position, isn't it? So. Yeah, you think it's, uh, yeah he was surprised when it happened. Mm. Mm. So he's like, you ain't And also, it's not, it, it tends to not hit as hard, or you don't take, when it, if it was a white guy saying that to you, perhaps, or... Oh, that's a straight HR yeah. <laughs> situation. Yeah, but, but, straight HR. Straight snitch. Straight snitch. But it's sort of, it's like, okay, you put that in a racism mm. box yeah. mm. automatically. Mm. You sort of look at it differently. Right, you get it. It's, it's, like it's black you. and white, literally. Yeah. Whereas when it's someone from us, yeah. you're like, you don't even understand where it comes from. You don't fathom it, right? You're yeah. like, why would you have any mm. issue against our own? Yeah. It's, no, 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 it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Yeah. I get you. That's wild. You know, okay, so that kind of goes into the concept of within the realm of like independence and a woman having her own... I, I, in my head, I keep hearing um, Neo and Jamie Fox. Like, who is it? And Fabulous. She got yeah, it on. <laughs> Which one is that? Missing oh, oh, Miss Independent. <laughs> is that the song? Why do I feel like it's the dream you're doing? <clears throat> I think you're doing something different. <laughs> I'm a soprano. I'm a soprano. <laughs> okay. She's got her own. Neo, Jamie <laughs> Fox, and Fabulous. Yeah, I know that song. Yeah. Are you right, saying I'm singing it wrong? Two different songs. Yeah, yeah. That's you're Miss uh, Independent. I'm singing Miss Independent. Yeah, Miss Independent. Miss Independent. Oh, it's the same song. Different song. Okay. I'm, I'm out here. Okay. Yeah, I mean. You, you, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somewhere. I told you a singer's mad, bro. <laughs> Listen, you're, 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 everyone's a <laughs> hater. It was just a pitch. It was a pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm too key, high. Key, I'm soprano. I'm a, I'm a falsetto. <laughs> Hence the dream. Really, I hear that all the time. Mm. Oh, my God. You sound like the dream. I was getting dream vibes. I was getting dream vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Wake up, though. All right, cool. So here we are, right? The whole concept about the independent woman, right? I'm throwing this along the, the realms of relationships, right? Mm. Naturally. Has that ever, ever been like a deterrent to guys? Like when guys are approaching you mm -hmm. on a romantic basis, you feel me? Do you feel like guys are in, intimidated, so to speak, by your independence, quote unquote? Have you ever felt that on, mm. on both ends? I think, <clears throat> yes, to, to it, yes, okay. sort of. Um, I think there are times where I think I feel like I have a, a sort of 
I don't, but I don't know if it's my independence that has mm. put some put put somebody off potentially. Mm. I, but I think there is. I don't. I'm not someone who gets approached often mm. at all. Mm. Um, like at all. Mm. I feel like it's because I I have quite an air of oh she's cool by herself. Yeah, she's good. Not in a yeah. That's okay, it. She's it's good. like a she's. She's good. I, I'm so sort of content yeah. in myself and what I'm doing. Yeah. It doesn't look like I need someone to buy me a drink. Mm. Okay. It doesn't need, look like You're probably I need giving someone off taken to... vibes. Mm. Like, you know when I you can go in a room and you think... You mean like kidnap? I think it is. Kidnap. She looks like no. she got a man, basically. Yeah, like, like oh. you don't look She's like, like you want man like, to approach yeah. you. Yeah. So mm. if mm. I were a guy coming into the room, for example, now, mm. you're very content, you're cool. Mm. Like, you don't look like talk to me. You're not giving talk to me energy. So people are going to assume, oh, she's probably got someone a couple years deep. So, yeah. And I think it's just because I'm always sort of quite content i'm mm. like i'm in my own happiness in my own whatever so i in a sense it is independence <coughs> mm. but it's it's um it's not a good thing mm. Um, is it a bad what, thing? Well, what about like when you're actually in a talking stage with someone how does it go like have you actually like pushed someone off because you know what i'm giving this uh i'm too confident i'm in possibly uh, you know possibly mm. it's something i do sort of you're conscious and, of and you, yeah okay. or evaluate i'll look at a situation and think was was I not needy enough? And mm. in that, you know, that's interesting. The word needy, right? Because is that is that the characteristic of a woman, quote unquote, that it's not that is not so. I got my own. I'm independent. Is it neediness that differentiates a woman that's independent Remember, and a bro, woman that's not independent? They always start off not needing you around. Right, right, they right. Giving you like, oh, I'll see you in two weeks. Right. And then after you dealt with them, then they're always free for you, isn't it? So this independent thing goes out the window. See, but <clears> that's also. A bit different because mm. I'm not. It's not like like if someone's trying to get to know me, mm. I'm always like, yeah, like let's meet up. Let's mm. you know, let's, let's do something. Let's do yeah, something. Yeah. Let's. It's not like oh, you know, I'm too busy. Like I'm, I'm always like, yeah, I'm busy. Mm. I will make time. You tell me when you can do, and I will yeah. find time yeah. around yeah. that, and yeah. we'll get together. Yeah. I'm not just sitting here on the phone. For the next yeah, hour you're not just waiting on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I feel I'm, you. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Oh, I'm the opposite, you know. I yeah. feel bad. Talk to like, me. I want to talk to you on the phone. Because uh-huh. I have this thing, before I go on a date, let me talk to you on the phone so I can get mm. a gist of your reasoning. I don't need a free meal. Mm. So, I don't... I, <laughs> That's a first. You know, I'd rather just kind of get to <laughs> the bearings with your way of thinking then yeah. I know if it's worth it than going out on a date. It's kind of like a date already, isn't it? You know, I don't want to yeah. waste your time. Mm-hmm. You, vice versa. So, there's guys I've gone, oh, it's been great speaking to you. Mm. I don't want to waste your time. I mm. don't see this going any further. And they're like, "What?" Yeah. Mm. And I'm like, "No, I can tell already. It's just not. Yeah. Gonna, it's mm. not gonna. 100%. It's not gonna pop off." They're mm. like, oh, "Okay, I respect that." Mm. And then other guys have called up and like, "No, who, who do you think you are?" Mm. And I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm trying to save you. I could, <laughs> yeah, I could <laughs> get a meal out of you." I'm trying to or save you. I could. <laughs> no, no, like, <laughs> like that. Captain, save my brother, man. No, 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 no. But you know, it's like I could rinse you for a couple yeah, meals, facts. a couple experiences. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to do that. So yeah. why am I wasting time? You could break it down to them. What it is about. Them. it's so nah, objectionable that exactly you're not because you you're, you're not right for me thanks, you might be right for someone else that's yeah. it yeah but that's it but when you know look this is just not me yeah i don't need to go on a date with you i don't mm. need to give mm. it some more time i just know me and you are not and that's yeah. cool like Incredible. you say you mm. might be great I think there's like a else. different level to it though you know um, mm. <clears throat> remember that thing yeah which one uh, the one that didn't wash the makeup off their face oh yeah pillowcases yeah yeah pillowcases now then the next thing which one Oh yeah, yeah, snap, snap, snap! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the hug, <laughs> the nemesis you know, hug. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So right. remember her, yeah. Right. She always used to lead with, "Oh, I've got this. Like, why don't you want me? Like, I've got um, I'm oh, getting right. my own house. I'm doing this. I'm doing that." Yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Where it's like that turns man off because mm. man is not intimidated by. It. It's just that you're trying to lead with this. Mm. So what is your real character? Mm. You can have all these assets, but what's actually inside of you? Mm. Like some women lead with that, whereas you're saying, you know what? I don't even mention that. I just go off your vibe. Mm. Yeah. Where some women, when they got a sign, they let you know, man's got this. Why are you not here? Mm. No. That's saying? a very masculine energy thing to to, yeah. to put out. To because project guys as well. do that, innit? You that's know, how we do things. That, that's how a lot of guys do things. <clears throat> and it's interesting. Um, You've both touched on something interesting. Yeah, I mean, you too, bro. Because, you know, the other week I put up this, this story. Um, It was on Made You Think. And mm. it was a concept of... Um, the good, the good guy. Right, woman, woman mm. say they want a good guy, mm. but when it comes to when it comes to it, are they even ready to step the game up along those lines? Mm. And I kind of swerved the conversation into talking about um, women say they want a guy who's on on, on point. Mm. 
right? Mm -hmm. But um, when they actually meet a guy at some point, they're not ready to step the game up. Mm -hmm. And then within the comments, someone said, um, sometimes, they, like, it's crazy. I didn't reply to this one because I felt hurt. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I yeah. felt like, oh, I feel attacked. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. why me? <laughs> like someone said, basically what you both literally just said, yeah. it's sometimes, even if you're a good guy, don't think just because you're that we need to like you. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Ooh. I saw that one. They're like, yeah. get your get yeah. your foot out, like get your ass out your out yeah. your mouth. It's or whatever, true though, right? isn't it? It's true. Isn't just it? because you're on point, don't yeah. mean I need to like you. So so get out your feelings. You feel mm -hmm. me? Don't think there's a, there's a, there's an air of deservedness or, mm -hmm. or you get what I'm saying? Entitlement. Isn't Entitlement. It? Mm -hmm. As a man, we have that as well. The same concept as this lady, the makeup lady, was talking about. Mm -hmm. I've got the car. I've got the job. I'm on point. Mm -hmm. She's comparing herself to others who do not, mm -hmm. and because of that, she expects you to want her. Mm -hmm. And guys we do do that mm -hmm. and i've done that before as well i've never done that i've never done that yeah no because you ain't never had nothing all right cool so never done that. so like, this guy's so crazy <laughs> 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 all right cool so you've never actually had that situation whereby a guy's been intimidated by yours and then he's kind of fell back Probably, you explicitly know, okay. explicitly I did find it hard for mm. a while. No, I don't want to say hard, but like mm. dating guys my age. Okay. That's why I've always... Do you mind Do you mind telling us your age? Yeah, right 26. Okay, 26. Cool. It's because from, I'll say like 16, mm -hmm. the level of conversation that I wanted, it just so happens that older guys are ready for that conversation. Mm. Whereas guys my age are like, I'm just trying to get my EMA money. Man back then, EMA, you know? back then, <laughs> back then, EMA money, buy a belt, go to a rave. And I'm talking about economic wealth and power and oh, all right, this. Right, 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 right. Like people don't want to hear, you know, and then back then it'll be like, oh, you're depressing me, man. Don't talk mm. about that. And I'm right. talking about classism back when I'm 18 years old. Right, guys are like, right. it's so old. So you were, you were, you were awake before woke become a word. Yeah, because I was <laughs> studying sociology yeah. at the time as okay, well. Okay, okay. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, and I'm thinking, oh God, like we're then people yeah. are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, Sorry, can't you see? Segue, <laughs> yeah. did, that, did that draw you towards, did that draw you towards um, older guys at the time? I, not me drawn to them, but them drawn to me. Oh, but okay. then yeah. practically coming from the house I came from, it's like, mm. I can't bring you home. This is going to mm. look a bit mad. How old are we talking though? We're <clears> talking <throat> about like seven years yeah. age difference. Yeah. And it's like, I can't really. And how old were you? 16 brother no we're not 16 that, no 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 oh, no 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 i really wasn't i really oh, wasn't i really listen, wasn't there's no judgment if, if you was, are it wouldn't have been her though. that was out there on a massa it would have been him no they both no no no, no, <laughs> no. that's a child right there at 16. Oh. No, no. let's not say these words yeah no no, no this is, she's <laughs> making a point no, no, but i was point. not doing a madness at listen, 16. Okay, okay, i just want to put that out there i was far from it because you know the thing is yeah it's always i hear that story it's like you know 16 17 18 year old girls yeah always with a man that's like seven eight years older yeah. but Somehow. i was never with any they, they always say you know the conversation <laughs> was like it's good or this man understood it where i was trying to yeah you, you know like, what i have my you dad just, at home like, someone, <laughs> like i have a healthy you just like an older man no 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 like, older, 17 18 that's what i'm saying because the man a lot of time not even talking to you about the things that you're trying to talk about you're easy meat for the man innit? you're being you that's it yeah, He's so I'm, I'm saying, in this, but this time she was able to have good conversation. She was no, it wasn't. No, 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 I was conversating. I was literally conversating, literally no, conversating. No, no, like some of these people was like. I still like have respect for them. I still, yeah. you know, talk to them from time to time. But you call, that, them. you call them uncle now, isn't it? <laughs> no, I don't call them uncle. I don't know, like big bro, big bro. Because I never did it. If I did something with any of them. You would have called them daddy. No oh, way. Okay. No way. No, you know what all it is, right, yeah? Right, at, this point, at this point in time, yeah. They, <laughs> at this point now, it's respect. It's respect because... That. Even if because I never did anything with any of yeah. them, I can hold my head up high. I can still walk into any room yeah. and not feel a type of way. <laughs> and, However, yeah. I have friends that yeah. I've had to leave a couple of clubs yeah. because they're like, "Oh my God, he's here!" and I'm like, "For fuck's sake!" Yeah. And now we got to leave because yeah. it's uncomfortable for them. Sure, because of the history and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but I've always had parents that are like, "Listen, don't you know, do anything you're not comfortable we, doing." We, we, we're gonna keep jumping, but this is this is the whole point I was saying to you guys. It's more of a conversation than mm. just a topical mm -hmm. thing, right? We'll, we'll we'll start here, but we'll we'll make it work. <laughs> you guys got me to keep. <laughs> no, no, listen. First of all, I'll make sure I don't edit that out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> secondly. Got it. No, there isn't. No, 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 no. I'm playing. No, no. Um, but that being said, right? She said, I wasn't out there mm. at 16, right? Mm. And you said the guy was out there. The guy was mad because he's he was an older dude, right? Mm. 
was it if she was again back to the age thing if she was experimenting at 16 was that mm. would that have been a bad ch- thing ch- 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 okay, okay. Yeah, let's okay. Just make it. wait 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 it's an experiment, she, right? You, you she wasn't. 16. You remember you stream? This is the point. Okay, what's the age? What's the age that you was? Because you mentioned sixteen. Okay, hold on, hold on, Jay. Okay. One second. I say college. No, Let no, me no, just put pressure, college. No, no, I don't want to apply pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Let, Let, Let it breathe. Don't shout at me. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Real, uh, real quick. Woo sa. Okay. Woo Hit me. Sa. I'm ready. Okay. First of all, Rihanna, I'm not Chris Brown. Right, so we're gonna rewind. <laughs> no joke aside. Um, if a girl was like experiment, a girl was experimenting at age sixteen. And Define it, experimenting. I just well, physically. Know. So I'm talking about she's having sexual experiences and oh, she's. No, I wasn't. No. Not you. I know. I know. So no, that's a reflex. <laughs> so. The defense is real quick. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if a girl, did we, I don't know if we covered this. If a girl's experimenting and whatever at 16. So basically, is it the guy's fault or the girl's? Is that what you're saying? Is it, is it a question of fault or is it a question of? Because she, um, just Jenny life, said right? that. Okay, she. Jenny. Sorry, sorry. Jenny said that it's the guy that's at fault here. Yeah. Right. But some of these girls are not letting these men know. That what their age is. Mm. Do you get it? Because a lot of these girls, when they're touching 16, 17, they're going to college, innit? Mm. So they're thinking, I'm a big girl. Mm. I can handle this. Mm. You get me? <laughs> so that's what it is. I wouldn't blame both parties. Right. I mean, I wouldn't blame one, it'd be both. Personally, for me, if Two I had a daughter at, the the mm. at 16 years of age, I would try as much as I can, but you can't control people. Mm. You don't need to rush. Really, you don't need to rush. Just be a kid. You're mm. still a kid at six, like he says, 16, 17, damn near 18, 21. If you want to mm. get yourself into long term relationships and be committed to a guy, mm. even though 21 is still a bit, uh, live mm. your best life. But 16, no. Bro, no. Like, even just yeah. knowing yourself and having enough, like at 16, mm. what you have, no matter how mature you are, you, you don't have what it takes to defend against this 25 year old man or 23 yeah. 24 year old yeah. man who's just come into your life like he's <laughs> and you you know i i was that 16 year old girl mm. and i thought when you're that 16 you know when you're that age mm. when you're that age anyway you mm. think you know i've i've got enough tools yeah. in my arsenal yeah. i know it all mm. i've taken on enough i can i can deal with the big bad world whatever mm. you know you think mm. and i i was i was very much one of these who thought you know i seen it all mm. i know it all already you mm. can't tell me nothing and i was just a foolish child yeah mm. yeah yeah but how, how course, can you make you informed yeah. decisions without information yeah i was yeah. shook at 16 i was just shook of that element yeah. of thing so that's what kind of deterred me for a long time yeah. before I even okay so when realm. did you start speaking to older men then because <clears throat> when you're saying it you didn't say your age but when i said but when i say speaking okay i'll say college because i can't remember the age exactly oh, so 17 but <laughs> but, but when I say yeah. speaking, mm. I'm literally mean speaking. No one said that he was doing anything. We're no, just no, saying no, he was no. talking to but man. I'm isn't saying it? this sounds weird because it's like, why is a gr- like, come on, baby? How did girl, you get into contact with them, though? Bebo. Was it Bebo? Nah. It was Bebo High Five. <clears throat> so, how did. Was they basically. Was he was on to, road. I was going to like music clubs as well. Music clubs or raves? Clubs. I didn't, I didn't hit those under 18 raves. So, Mandem was moving to you, right? And then you had conversation that way because they just came to you. It wasn't like you searched for them. No, never searched. Okay. Like when I look back on it, the most foolish thing I did was getting on Ustream. I don't know if anyone remembers Ustream, Mm-mm. but it's kind of like a Skype, but everyone has their own little thing. So I, myself and my friends would be like, yeah, just doing, just talking generally, but it's kind of like hundreds of grown men are watching us. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know you stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like what, squares and everything. Yeah, watches, so yeah. when I look back and I was like, oh, <laughs> Bear Man were coming like every Wednesday at nine o'clock <laughs> to watch us all like, oh, you guys are so funny. Mm. I'm like, oh, these probably like pervs when I look back on it. Yeah, By yeah. the time I thought, I must be hella interesting. Yeah, Tiana yeah. Taylor was doing that for I'm jumping on you stream. But um yeah. Okay. Um, R.I.P. You stream and your Ustream experiences. I'm glad yeah. it made you a stronger, better, smarter woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the new you. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, Jay. So in terms of like the kind of ladies that we go for, I feel like we tend to go for women that have like good heads on the shoulders. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, we tend to go for women. Um, well, you more so. It seems like you go for women that like you can kind of, what's the word? I wouldn't say control. 
Oh. You feel what I'm saying? But women that are susceptible. Normally, I would slap the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shots fired. Shots fired. No, but no, no, no. Go, no, go, no go here's what I'm it, trying to say, right? <laughs> we don't go for women that we feel are not willing to work with us. You feel what I'm saying? We don't go for women that we feel like they're just about them, so to speak. And um, they'll have this dominant personality, this dominant nature. They'll kind of be like, yeah, I hear what you're saying, mm. but I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Mm. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So when I was using the word control, obviously that was a joke. But I feel like we go for women. They're not necessarily easily malleable, but they want to they wanna make things work. You feel what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've never seen you go for a woman that I'd look at and just be like, bruh. There was one I heard I thought that I, I was going to be able to like work with. Yeah. Yeah. Define work with because right. I'm not with that in the trenches type life. <laughs> so, like, I'm not suffering. Work with is basically a woman that understands the what it really means to submit to a man. Mm, yeah? Submission. Not what the world thinks is what it really means. Submission. Yeah, the biblical term of it. And Submission. The <laughs> yeah. So this the ASMR? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I was looking. So that's going to be the, the, the headline for this clip. I feel like he was trying to hypnotize us. <laughs> no, because I'm Sweet. like, I'm coming <laughs> into the mic even more. I'm like, what the hell? No, don't get into the mic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> just, do what you, just do what you have to. <laughs> just take me. Three more times, I'm like, <laughs> snap out of it. But yeah, no, Jay, carry on. All right, so basically... um. We just want a girl that understands who they know who we are and they know who they are I and they're willing scenario. to work. It's, 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 Give me a scenario. I like it very black and white. Um, She's a zebra type of girl, bro. I don't know. What's an example, man? What? You can think of some shit. Just simple stuff like what, what a woman should do and what a guy should do. Like just working together as a team in it. Like but someone someone that. shouldn't think that they're, they're above the other, basically. But I need a day in the life. I need a scenario. It's hard because you'd have... Pitching, when bro. you say... Neither one should feel like they're more. Yeah, like they're above on. They're above like each that's other. where I don't. So the word submiss- submission. Right. So, so maybe it needs a definition. Submission because is the word equality would apply more. But equality doesn't work. But like no, that. I'm saying, <clears throat> c- c- what you just said. We equal as human beings the mm-hmm. way God created us. But yeah, but. as the man in this relationship, I'm the leader. I'm the head yeah, of this, you, I'm you the head of this the house. That's true. Exactly. So you, I don't know why you're trying to go left, but I'm trying to go right. It doesn't make sense. Keep it raw, keep it real.